Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel Beyond Horizons. This is Nidhi. Today we are here to see on how to create or use the inman bundles in the Decaling Power Factory into our project. Let us move on. I have considered the 6 bus system and in here if you want to add an extra renewable source or a battery storage or for example a solar PV or a wind there are certain templates which are already mentioned in the silent which will help you in order to make your work a bit easy. So let us see how to use the inbuilt template. Here in the right side of your page you can see that there are so many components present and you find this tem template where it says general templates. You have to click this on so that there will be this pop-up window which is showing and this is the library for all the templates which is present in this library. And there are three types here. Those are project templates, library templates and library bus system, bus bus system. And here you can see in project templates you have battery with frequency control, solar photovoltaic system, WECC, distributed small PV. Okay. And in library templates you have a list of um, individual templates. For example, battery, battery uh, with frequency control, photovoltaic panel, photovoltaic panel. You can see the elaborated version which is the rated capacity like one terminal, two terminal, solar photovoltaic single phase for 50 hertz, 60 hertz, single phase neutral, 50 hertz, 60 hertz and three phase system etc. All these templates in library templates and then you have library bus bus systems where you have all these bus bus systems. Even a remote controlled switch a secondary substation with different rated capacities. You can see the different for LV, that is for the low voltage distribution network, for the medium voltage consumer, for the producer, for the production. So all these templates are already given in the exactly. So now I minimize this screen and I go on to the library templates where you can see that if you want to have a battery storage system in your um, network, you can just write, you can just copy this link, right? And you can, when you bring it here, you can see this small, uh, the same symbol which we have seen earlier attached to the arrow mark, right? I hope you can see it. And you can just click on here in the screen so that it will become bigger and you can just place it here right and then when you give an escape the entire thing closes you have to close it and you can see that this is connected to a, a battery storage system which is maybe I can zoom and show you that I hope that will be even more clear right yeah the zoomed in version you can see that it is an LV bus which is connected to a battery energy storage system. Right? Okay. All right. So now you have, when you want to connect it, you have to see there are, there are certain things you have to see it, which is the bus voltage at the lower voltage side and the bus voltage from where, from to which bus you want to connect it in the system. So you can see that when you double click this, you will know it is a line to line voltage is 10 kilo volt. And when you click on to this system, maybe it is 11 kilo volt. Maybe if you want to uh, make it even more simpler, you can make this to be maybe even more smaller, maybe 0.4 kilo volt because it is a battery storage system. You can connect it like this and then you can easily connect it via a transformer and then 
once you double click it here you have to check you have to give the new project type you have to give the rating here you have to give 11 and this we have changed it to 0 0.4 and you click it on there is a battery storage system which is attached to your entire network so likewise if you want to have another different storage maybe this one you can just or any of these you can do on to the same procedure as how i followed for this battery with frequency control which is a 10 kilo volt and 30 mba battery storage system but then i have changed it to 0 0.4 it depends upon your project and your work however you want to use it you can use it all right so in the next video we will see how to change all the parameters and use it and try to run the load flow analysis when a battery storage system is connected to the system and if you like my video you can like it share it and also do comment and do subscribe to my channel and please share it with your friends who are more interested in learning about Dick's Island. It is all about making it user friendly and making it known to everyone. And please do like my video, share my video and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any queries, please do comment on the video so that I'll get the notification so that I can reply to your comments immediately. Thank you so much and thanks a lot for listening. See ya.